Okie dokie. We've been checking out different art movements. Currently, we are on 60 psychedelic art, or more specifically, 60 psychedelic music posters created in and around the Fillmore Auditorium in San Francisco. Artists like Wes Wilson, Vis- Victor Moscosco, um, a lot of these type of posters were up around the garage and parts of my house. My dad had them when I was a kid. Kind of a cool, kind of groovy style was the slang back then, groovy. So I'm going to show you a couple techniques. Um, style took a lot of elements from Art Nouveau. If you look through the posters, there's this kind of faded image look, kind of like screen prints. I'm going to show you how to do that. And then kind of that rounded, groovy kind of illustrated text. So I'll show you those two techniques here really quick. So I brought an image in of the legendary Bob Dylan. And you can see I have it on a layer, named it image just to keep it easy. And I have Bob selected with my selection tool. So that image is selected and highlighted. And then we have this thing right here called image trace. Now you can simply click image trace, but that would be a bad idea. Instead, I would suggest clicking the down arrow and it gives you all of these options. And you can experiment and see which different ones do. I wanna go with a three color for this example, but you may find one of the other options work for your style better. Choose three colors and it says it's a big picture, might take a while, I'm gonna say okay, my computer is fairly fast. Um, what it's gotta do, it's calculating, trying to figure out where to do like a, um, fake pen tool right so this isn't going to do a lot of detail you don't want to use this when you're doing digital illustrations too much you want to actually pen tool it but for what we're going to do this works great all right now it gave me this look kind of this uh, vectorized poster look i want to immediately expand so i'm going to click expand that's going to kind of ungroup stuff and it's going to allow me to delete all this stuff on the sides from the picture that I want. I just want Bob, his hair, his face, his shirt. And to do that, I don't want it all selected, so I have to take my direct selection tool, the white arrow, click off anywhere, and then click back on, and then I can click on different areas, hit delete a couple times, right? And it will delete big areas when I do that. Oops, let me try that again, wrong key, and I can see there's a bunch of lines there. I'm gonna delete those, delete that. There's a little gray over here on his shirt. And then around his hair, um, if I kind of click and highlight on the outside, it'll pick up little points. You can even get more specific, right? And click in and delete inside of the hair like this. You don't have to um, for this particular assignment, not too important, but I like to clean it up a little bit, right? I see that kind of gray. All right, now, what else do I wanna do? Oop, I wanna get rid of, nope, don't wanna get rid of all that. So. Now I'm thinking about a color scheme, right? We've looked at, you've looked at a bunch of examples of these. You should have an inspiration board. So think about your color scheme. I'm gonna take the black right here, which is the darkest part of the image and pick a darker color from a color scheme I'm gonna come up with. I'm thinking maybe orange. There's a lot of orange in this type of stuff. So I'm gonna double click on my fill. I'm gonna get kind of a reddish orange, something like that. And you can see that all that black is now that orange color. But it missed all of this, so this is what I should have done and I didn't think about it, but I'm gonna click this black and I'm gonna come up to select. And then I'm gonna say same fill color, same fill color. It's gonna pick, select everything in the document or on the canvas or in the artboard that is the same fill color. You can see all those little black points and then I'm gonna eye drop that same orange that I just used. Click off and you can see now everything that was black is orange. I'm gonna do something very similar. I'm gonna take this gray and I'm going to select same fill color, select same fill color. And I wanna take a lighter kind of orange to contrast, do like a monochromatic, something like that. Got Bob Dylan, simple image trace, screen print kind of look, looking kind of cool. Now. Let's look at groovy word art text. So I'm gonna take my type tool and I'm just gonna click down here my open area. And one of the fonts that we have installed on a Mac is Hobo. Use the font, use font fling, look online, find some kind of like 60 psychedelic groovy text or by default Hobo works. 
and this is the legendary Bob Dylan. So I'm going to type out Bob, and I'm going to make this pretty big, like 72. I'm going to take my selection tool, move Bob up onto the left shoulder. Then I want to do kind of like a gradient mesh, but it's not quite. But it's very similar to those of you that have done gradient mesh already. This is an object. Pretty much anything you draw, type, create, whatever on Illustrator can be considered an object. Since this is a vector object, we can come up to Object, Envelope Distort, and we could do this very cool technique called Make with Mesh. And here's my tip that I find works well for this sort of thing, doing these typographic type illustrations, is however many rows of text you have, and I find to do one word at a time works best, but you may get crazy and try to do more, but I find one word at a time works best, and then that means our mesh has one row, one word, one row. And then count the number of letters you have and have that many columns. So Bob, three letters, three columns. I'm going to click OK. And it made this little mesh box. Now using my direct selection tool, the white arrow, I can come in on these anchor points and I can conform Bob into this shape over here, right? I can pull them down. Right, double click on the points if you're having trouble. If you just click once, it kind of acts like the selection tool and just moves it. The other thing is, if you understand anchor points and stuff, is right here are these little handles. And with this handle, I can adjust and pull stuff out. All right. Now, to continue with my color theme, this is on the brighter orange. I'm going to take my eyedropper tool and eyedrop that lighter color all right Oop, might have to double click all right that gets us inside the envelope distort now i can eye drop that orange color and i can come out when that happens i'm inside the envelope because i was editing the text i click on the gray bar and i'm back out and i have bob now you do the same thing with dylan right so this is bob dylan i am going to type out dylan um, before I actually mesh it to make my life easier, I'm going to eye drop that orange color right there, that lighter orange. Move that into place on his right shoulder. And I'm going to say object, envelope distort, make with mesh. One, two, three, four, five letters. So I up my columns to five, take the white arrow, and again, you just kind of come through double click, have fun, and make a cool groovy 60s psychedelic poster art. If I take the black arrow because I want to kind of stretch this down low, I get something like that and I have a start of a cool groovy 60s psychedelic poster. Have fun, come up with your own design, make something awesome.